Mitaa ya mabanda ina changamoto zake. Wasichana kama hapa Kibera hunajisiwa, hupata mimba za mapema na pia huacha shule kwa sababu za shida za hapa na pale. Kocha moja kule Olympic hawapa wasichana matumaini ya kuendelea na masomo yao kupitia soka. Kuzaliwa na kuishi kwa mitaa ya mabanda kama hapa ni changamoto sana sana kwa wasichana. Wanapitia shida kama kunajisiwa, mimba za mapema, vile vile kuacha shule. Lakini hapo Olympic kupitia kocha Dennis, soka inawapa fursa ya kuja shuleni na pia kuepukana na maovu. Wanaanza kutrainisha 2014. Then Kenya Nilileta kwa Astana ni hiyo most of the of the coaches wana concentrate na wanaume. So tulipata that uh, tuko na timu za vijana wengi yenye watu wana concentrate nao. So that's why nikakuja nikasema wacha ni engage na wasichana ndio hizo ndo nikaanza then nika take uh, the first team of the my first team yenye nilikuwa nao nilikuwa uweza then before nikuje before nikuje olympic ndio ndio nikakuja nika, nika, nikaanza for the start because the first time yenye nilikuja hapa uh, nilipata nobody mwenye alikuwa anatrainisha wasichana wasichana kama tu wengine hapa dogo asema soka ndio maisha Hey, I do football because it's my career and it also helps me in school fees because as I play in school football which I represent my school in any places uh, the principal is always happy about what we do hey, I like to represent my country Kenya which I know I will do it in the years to come and I also like to play in Europe in such teams like Barca most of us chana wameshika ball wengine wako na ugonjwa ugonjwa kaka kadhaa ukikam tu kupiga zoezi ina ina keep company hadi hizo zoezi unatoka saa moja hadi uweze pata time ya kutembea na hiyo group mbaya ndio unaoga unakula alafu unafanya homework then una doze unalala then unalala kesho kiamka tena tu ni hivyo hivyo zoezi unapiga zoezi yako ama kama ni siku ya shule na shule hii hii futeme nisaidia kwa mdeli hadi nime nimefika Kilifi nimecheza Mombasa nimefanya mpaka tumefika huko games za MTG so hadi hii ball hii ball inafanya mse hadi atingia grao wasema na wanampatia morali juadi akicheza grao anaonekana kama footballer ama anakaa anakaa player mara mbili kwa wiki Dennis wafunza soka. Ikucheza soka uh, it improve life yao as in number one, uh, kwa kwa Islam zetu Islam yetu unapata kuna 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 crime yenye na iko na pia sana wetu huwa wana involve kwa hizo crime. So unapata kama sahi ndio wao wametrain hapa. Sa akitoka hapa akienda kwa nyumba ana rest for dakika kidogo then anafanya homework yake then unapata siku imeisha. Au utapata kwa ile bad bad company ya yeah, drugs maybe ya crimes so anachukua time yake sana akitoka kwa class akwapa kwa kiwanja akitoka kwa kiwanja akifika kwa nyumba ni kufanya homework na unapata time imeshaisha ana rest ana lala then ana, ana panga yake ya, ya, ya kesho ya shule hapa kibira kuna groups nyingi na hizo groups si group poa si, si zote poa na zingine nzuri sasa nime nimejiinvolve kwa hii nini team then nisaidie ni kuwa active kwa class Yaani nisi, yani nisiende huko nje, nianze kutumia drugs wanatumia. Yaani wamenisaidia sana. Juu pale pia si tunaishi, kuna watu wanatumia hizo drugs. Na nikianza kukaa hapo, pia mimi nianza kutumia. Sasa si poa, pia mimi nianze kutumia. Sporti hii imewafunza kulinda maisha yao vyema na pia imebadili nidhamu yao. Ningependa ku kusaidia wasichana kama mimi wenye wana tanga tanga tu kuinje wenye wana 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 addicted na madawa ningependa ku advise kitu kai kama unaona uko na unaweza cheza ball ama unaona tu uko na talent yoyote yenye unaweza fanya hata mtu je hata kuna wasichana kuinje mse mtu ukiona wakituona kama tuko hapa wanaanza kusema sijui tunaji west unaona sasa mtu msichana mm, mwingine uko nje anakuja na kuambia ati twende siju bash twende nini kama ni mjinga tu unafua unafuata sasa mimi ningependa kuambia kama wako 
wakona talent wa kujua tusaidia hapa tukip company team ikuwe kubwa wakiwa na nuta kuchizia team ya starlets wanasema mchezo umeza kuwa pamba lengo bora just as a mtuwa nikiripotia TV47 Nairobi Wycliffe alianza kuruka kamba ikuwa na umri ya katisa licha kuwa si sporti marufu ameweza kubobia na pia kwa kilisha Kenya kwa mchezo huu wa kuruka kamba ulimwenguni Kibera kuna talanta nyingi. Watu wengi hasa vijana hujikaza kisabuni ili kujinua kimaisha. Kuna kijana mmoja mwenye ujizu wa kuruka kamba. Nitakueleza mengi kuhusu kijana huyu. Utampata weekly hapa mtaani Kibera akitembea kwa mwendo wa taratibu. Pindi tu anapokuonyesha ujuzi wake bila shaka utabaki ukiwa umeshangaa Yeye ni mwalimu wa kuruka kamba Ameweza kuwakilisha Kenya katika spoti hii So there is a story I'm doing jump rope anywhere provided for example sometimes I might be walking on the road I saw so many people are maybe standing and uh, i start doing jump rope i i want to be, i want people to know jump rope i want to know i want to make sure people know jump rope is a developing sport in kenya that they need also to support like the supporting football athletics so that's why uh, for example last uh, last time there's, there's a place I, I i was i was going and then i saw many people dancing on the street and i decided to join to join them even in fact I didn't even ask for, for permission if I can join them I just removed my rope and started jumping and everybody was like oh my god looking at me how I'm jumping and they were amazed because it is something interesting and people don't know it so that's why I'm doing it so that people people can know yeah people can know that here yeah, we have weekly in Kenya doing jump rope anapopata nafasi atawaonyesha wakaaji ujuzi wake Kisha awafundishe wale walio na nia ya kujua. I'm the best in freestyle in East Africa and uh, and freestyle event is where you combine the skills. You remember the jump rope there are so many skills in jump rope and this one is being judged on the number of skills that you can do and you're given one at the competition you're given one minute 25 seconds so in, in one minute 25 seconds you have to show how many skills you can do how perfect can you do do it and uh, when you're doing it you need to face the judges eye contact you smile to the judges and also you need to there's a stage that you're given where you you within that period of time you've covered all, all that, that stage that you're given so that is the skill event and at, at the freestyle event I, I really like it because there's so many skills that I know I can do than, than many people, my fellow jumpers in Kenya. I've really mastered so many skills and uh, as I said, freestyle you combine the skills in a fun way. Amepitia changamoto nyingi. Hata hivyo hajafa moyo. Kwa sasa Cliff ni mwalimu na anafundisha watu kuruka kamba. I've come with a program where I teach people jump rope for fitness. So I want to I want to make it something big like I open a, a, an, an academy where so many people from every part of the country can come and learn through me. Anatumia mtandao kujifunza na pia kufundisha. Ananieleza kwamba kuruka kamba sio sporti ngumu. Kile unachohitaji ni mazoezi. Jump probe is a sport for everybody. And I'm, I, I'm, and I'm stressing everybody. Regardless of the age, jump probe everybody can do jump, anybody can do jump probe. And uh, provided that uh, you you master the basic it has been categorized the, the levels so the level one, level two, level until level six. 
So you can't, uh, you can't do the, levels, the tricks for level six if you still don't know how to do the, the level one or the basic ones. So there are, there are stages that you need to, to follow before you, before you, you become a professor, professional jump, jump proper. So, so if anybody, if somebody out there wants to join jump rope, they are, they are basic. You, you need to learn the basic first. Mchezo huu umeweza kumpeleka mbali. The sport has enabled me to travel to so many places that uh, I couldn't imagine before. For example, uh, in 2014 I went to represent my country at the World Jump Rope Championship. That was in 2014. And uh, I became position three where I won in an event called Chinese Wheel. I was third place and another event called Freestyle. I was number four worldwide out of uh, the, the countries that attended in that competition were 26 countries. So Shil Kavere, Nikiripotia TV 47, Nairobi. Mbiozo Sakafuni, huishia ukingoni. Niposa na itimisha tarifa hithi za leo. Ungana na sitena juma lijalo kwa mingi. Kumbuka kuwa hii ni sauti yetu. Kwa niyabe maripota wetu na wote walio wezisha tarifa hizi kukufikia tuasema asante. Jina langu ni Sylvia Diambo na kusi uzidi kuwa mema kwa wenzio. Kwani jema hulipa kwa jema.